Hey, it's your girl, Sophie Soph, here on Sophia's Football Talk for a new episode of The Ops. This is episode eight, where we will be previewing the biggest game of the weekend, which is, of course, Man City versus Arsenal. I have two special guests. The one will be coming a little bit later, but we have, of course, one that you've seen many, many times before. It is, of course, my guy. Who supports the wrong team, but it is what it is. Wake up to Tony, Tony Clark on our TV. Boo, 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 boo. How are you, brother? Are you good? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. See you guys. Yeah, I'm back on Sophia uh, uh, Talks Football yet again. You know, this is my sister, you know, and I and I really, really do appreciate this sister. And I, you know, personally, I do like, uh, you know, the her fan base and the people who are always here with her and uh, here for her. Uh, you know, this uh, familiar ground I've always uh, 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 stomped on, you know. So, you know, I mean, I'm glad to be back here. And um, this time, yeah, it's not talk of Manchester United. So, you know, you guys chill out, you know, and, um, you know, just <laughs> just chill out. Yeah, you know, we're not talking about uh, uh, Manchester United, uh, you know, it's with Man City. So um, this is this is big. This is huge, you know. Another game, Arsenal. You, you know, see, yeah, people are looking at this as a game that you know uh, uh, that's such uh, you know such a big, tremendous game. But I'm looking at it as one of those hurdles that we just have to cross, go to the Etihad, get the three points, and get out of there, and continue our match uh, uh, towards our first uh, major title in 20 years. How about that, Sophia? Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, no problem. Big up, big up. I have um, Tony's channel linked in the description box and also at yeah. the uh, title as well, alongside uh, True City fan Patrick, who will be joining us a little bit later. Tony's also streaming, by the way, on his channel as well. So, big up to who's watching from Tony's channel. So, I will be showcasing the comments that comes there as well. So, big up to you. Subscribe to both of my guests. Show them some love. Okay? They are my brothers from another mother. You know what I'm saying? That's important. Um, guys, to those of you who are new here, subscribe to this channel as well. Of course, give it a big thumbs up because the more likes we get, the more we're able to put the video out there for more people to see. Big up to the Assemble from Tony's channel. Oh, we're doing well. Big, up to, big up to you. Paul Forward Blue Nose. Big up to you too. That's and under brother too. Big up yes, to you. Yes, come on, Chelsea Perspective. Big up. Hey, yeah, yeah. Rajat, Bart, the designated troll, of course. Big up to you. Much love to you. Big up, Bart. <laughs> Bart, how are yeah. you doing, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, big up, big up, big up. <coughs> uh, guys, so, you know what? We'll get into... I kind of want to start off with Arsenal, okay? Mm. And big up, by the way, to Wolf. Aye, <laughs> big up, big up, big up. One of... Uh, Tony Shout Sanders. out to Wolf. That, that, yeah, that, 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 uh, that's that's yeah. that's my brother actually, not just a member, but that's a brother of mine. Yeah. And then to be nice for you to have a show with this guy, you know, he's a Chelsea fan, understands okay. more about football, and you know, he's a technical guy. You know, he could go either way with you, and um, you know, that's I really cool. respect him. Wolf, fan, big up to you, man. How you doing? I'm uh, big up, big up. Yes, 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 yes. I would love to collaborate with more people. So big up. Big yeah, up. sure, sure. Yeah, definitely. So. Only obviously, Arsenal in a title race, you know, the last Premier League game. You guys played Brentford 1 2 1 at home, then you had the Porto game advanced. You're now facing Bayern in the quarterfinal. What do you feel since those games? Obviously, that was right before the international break. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely happy that we're finally back with club football. I feel like it's been ages since we've seen our clubs play. Definitely. Tops. Definitely. Um, shout out to Amy Baba. That's my guy too, man. Uh, those of you yeah. on my channel, yeah, you know, uh, uh, just smash the likes and please contribute, uh, 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 you know, to, to what we're talking about down here. Uh, see, yeah, Sophia, uh, some people just like to actually um, uh, truncate what Arsenal have achieved um, um, over the weeks, yeah? I'll take mm -hmm. you back to when we, um, uh, when we, when the team was in dire need of, of a resurgence, of a renaissance, of something new, something fresh. Yeah, we just came out from a loss um, against Fulham, very devastating loss. 
you know, and mostly when you're a team that actually uh, went into last season and um, went into the, you know, into the final uh, uh, games of last season, chasing uh, uh, Manchester City for the title. And then you're out here being beaten by Fulham at Craven Cottage. Uh, you know, it wasn't good enough. So then, you know, we needed something new. We needed something fresh. And then we took that trip down to Dubai. I, I, sincerely, I don't know what happened in Dubai. But whatever happened in Dubai, Lord may continue. You know, in fact, I wanted to keep going to Dubai. If it's the water, if it's the miraculous streets, if it's the training facilities, you know, I'm sorry I'm talking about training facilities. You know, I actually do know that uh, Manchester United, uh, you know, the ceilings and the roofs, you can, you know, uh, uh, the toilets are filled with poo and pee everywhere. You know? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. <laughs> I know that the swimming pools are rusty. It's also a very, very toxic environment. But you see, let's throw all that away. Arsenal went into a different environment where we could be able to find ourselves, you know, find something different, refresh ourselves, you know. And you could see in the, you know, with the team members at the time. Uh, Declan Rice, new lease of life. Uh, uh, Martinelli wasn't scoring goals before he left. And then when he came back, he just, something just clicked after coming back from Dubai. And again, even with our coach, uh, normally whenever he's What happens again, in Dubai ha stays in Dubai, right? It stays mm -hmm. in Dubai, definitely. <laughs> it stays in Dubai. But but again, see, you cannot throw this it fact works. away here. Mikel uh, uh substitutions weren't really, really working for me right before he went to Dubai. But right now, and his technical nuance, I'm not saying he's the best manager for Arsenal. I'm not changing that. But all I'm just saying is that I've seen some sort of improvement from yeah. this guy. Um, he usually used to wait to the dining minute, uh, mm -hmm. you know, of games to kind of like um, make those changes and, and actually change the game from the bench. But, you know, when he came back from Dubai, everything just changed. Uh, uh, his substitutions are more calculated. His, his tactical uh, 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 brilliance is now you know, quite calculative, uh, you know, that, and and I really love it. We're loving it. Eight games without a loss. Make that make sense. Eight games without a loss. And you know what? Yeah, Impressive. of course, rival rival fans like uh, 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 throwing the facts away. Yeah, they just love throwing it all away. How about in eight games, Arsenal have scored 33 goals in eight games in the Premiership? Make that make sense, uh, 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 Sophia. In eight games, 33 goals. And this was a team that everyone, everyone, rival fans, even you, Sophia, I'm sorry. I I'm going to indict you on this, yeah? Uh, uh, you know, there was a time I came to your channel and you were asking me, Tony, where are the goals going to come from? Sophia, right now, oh, and I'm did, sitting down here with you, okay. right in front of you right now. And you're not even, see, you dare not ask me that question. Because the proof is in the pudding. You can see what we're doing. In eight games, 33 goals. Make that make sense. And see, Sophia, it's not only in the attacking uh, 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 fort for the Arsenal, yeah? Just throw that all away. In fact, let's just assume that Arsenal don't have strikers, aren't scoring goals. See, Sophia, I'll put you in the game right now. Sophia, please, could you name me just two? Two centre-back parents that's the best in Europe this season. Just two. Two. Outside two. of Arsenal? That's that's better than Arsenal. Just name two. That's better than Arsenal. Okay, you know what? Scratch that. Give me one. Don't name two. Just give me one. That's better than Arsenal in Europe this season. I think Inter has been very good, but they play with the back uh, three, so that's a bit different. But that's I think different. Still be very good, though. Yeah, wise exactly, well. Exa exactly, Sophia. Really that's what I thought. Many. That's a Sophia, Sophia, that's what I thought. No, but I, I actually you know think what? you guys have been wonderful. I actually generally think you guys have been great. Exactly, Definitely. exactly. That's what I thought. But that's I'm not I even exactly. Tony, see, see, Tony, I'm on your side. You've been great. I know, I know. 
I know. I'm just making this a little bit tense for you because you know what? Yeah, when I came to your show the other time, yeah, you really made it, you know, a little bit, you know, uh, 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 hot to me. So I'm, I'm trying to put you in the game and make it a little bit uncomfortable for you. Uh, but see, yeah, so that was when you guys weren't really that convincing. Now you, 2024, you're you're looking like how you were last season at the beginning, or for the majority of last season. This season, at the beginning, you guys weren't like that Arsenal that we saw last season. You know, it was yeah. just a bit, why are you changing, trying to fix something that isn't broken? But now you're playing free-flowing football. It's attractive, but you're also defensively sound, you know. Exactly. There's some swagger now there, you, get you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. You get it. We just I, want to I, see I, that I, again, Tony. Exactly, sure. And Sophia, see, I, I don't even want to take the gloss out of this yeah uh, just look at our uh, you know our defensive record this season arsenal is the best defensive side in the league this season yeah we've scored 70 goals uh, that's a testament to the amount of goals we've scored and how our attack has been rejuvenated and refreshed and renewed this season but throw that all away arsenal have only considered 24 goals in 28 games this season sophia make that make sense see that's premier league winning defenses yeah, that's a Premier League winning defense. And, and and that's why I'm putting Arsenal forward up the season to actually go ahead and win this title. Because defensively was sound, uh, going forward was sound. And we have one particular factor, uh, you know, uh, that many teams uh, yeah, don't have. And, um, and that's that factor called Declan Rice, the £105 million signing. You know, it, it's made a whole lot of difference uh, uh, since he came down to the Arsenal. You can see right now when we're attacking, we're attacking with more precision. Uh, 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 you know, our counter-attacks looks more more better and safer because we have him who's that key guy in the, you know, protecting our back four. If there's any counter, you know, counter-attack or there's a counter with our press, he's the guy. He's the guy you call on to just protect our back four. Is that guy that's yeah, sitting yeah. down there mopping up the midfield he's that guy he's running up and again see i, I don't know how people uh, uh you know look at declan rice yeah you could say is that cdm you know he could just stuck himself down there in that number six role but this is a guy that can actually give you more and as an arsenal fan that hasn't won a major trophy in 20 seasons this is something different for me because finally we now have a dynamic midfielder who could just mm -hmm. sit in deep and protect my back four now if you want him to move into advanced positions this guy can do it he can move into an advanced position it, let's say of like box to box of some sort uh, he could get into advanced positions he could get into that number eight uh, 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 zone uh, help out in the wings also uh, and of course, uh, he could also get goals. We've seen it in recent weeks. The goals he's putting in, the, all these things, yeah, has changed the dimensions to which Arsenal are actually winning games. And not to also forget, uh, 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 Sofia, how about our set piece? See, this is also an ammunition that people aren't really giving Arsenal enough credit for. That, throw the fact away that Arsenal um, has um, the most goals from set pieces this season. Just throw that fact away. Let's even still key in Declan Rice into that factor. Declan Rice has now been taking our corner kicks. Right now, our corner kicks are with a setting, I would have setting whip, I would have setting height, and I would have setting precision that just gets into the action. It gets you into the place where you really need our uh, attackers, uh, uh, you know, to really get their heads into it. You know, and again, our centre backs. Come on, Sofia, uh, Saliba is scoring goals. Magalesh, goal threat all the time. Uh, even Kivio is trying to get in on the act. We're looking good all across the pitch, and we're also setting up that defensive discipline going forward with a certain discipline that that you know that we never used to see this Arsenal team, uh, 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 you know, have in a long time. Sophia, this is a new team. This is a fresh team. I can't believe what I'm saying. Kai Havertz has completely changed from a damned player, a, a, a godforsaken player, you know, the forgotten player. And he has completely transformed himself into a world beater. He's out there in the international scoring goals. This kid has been banging in goals since January. Sophia, he's looking good. 
it's looking good. There and it brings a whole that... lot of it brings a different dimension into our into our gameplay. Okay, okay. Uh there's definitely okay, so two comments here in regards since you did mention Kai Havertz. So Eddie here, big up to you, says Tony, what will make <laughs> sense is when Havertz inevitably stops this weird purple patch. He's not someone you buy to win titles. Here. Oh, say that to check. Oh, oh uh, actually, I do respect um, Eddie Football Waffles. You know, I've, uh, I've seen him on 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 a couple of. Yep. So I do respect his thoughts too. Anyway, shout out to you, Eddie man. But see, Eddie, uh, I, I think that's flawed. Uh, this is more than a purple patch. Look at what he's doing uh, uh, for Germany. L like, just throw away, throw away what he's doing for Arsenal. Just look at what he was doing uh, uh, for Germany in the internationals. Yeah, mm -hmm. this was a guy that was playing as a left back, and the coach that's down there is Knuckles man. I do rate Knuckles man for some reason. He's won the German this Liga. Yeah, I do rate him as a coach. Now, if Knuckles man is seeing something different in Kai Havertz, moving him up top from being a left back in that team, I hope you knew he played left back this, uh, you know, for Germany. I hope you know. He did at the beginning. Was it? He games? did. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did play left back. And then he put him up front, showed faith in this guy. And before we know it, his banging goals for Germany. He did that again in the last game, I think in the game against France. And trust me, a French defensive setup that William Saliba, the one of the best pairings in Europe, didn't get into in that France national team, in the internationals. I mean, France scored after eight seconds in that game. Ex That's madness. Ex ex exactly. <laughs> And Kai Havertz is scoring against that defense. That's a testament I mean, to Germany, how yeah. how he has transformed and how he has improved as a player that was being told, you know, that he's shit, that has been told he can't amount to anything, that has been told that the 65 million pounds that was spent on this guy was a waste. He has completely turned it around. He, and he has showed us a, a great mental strength. I can't believe it. Even me, as an Arsenal fan, I, I can't believe what he's doing right now. You know, and and he has everything to actually improve in this team. Six foot plus, aerial aerial stability, aerial dominance. Uh, 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 you know, he could stick his leg in into challenges, and and he's a, he's generally that kind of kid that could literally you know make any defensive uh, uh, setup or opposition uh, angry. You know, it gets on their nerves and they don't understand this multidimensional role in the team. So, uh, you know, that's what mesmerizes his defenses. And that's why I do think that uh, 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 come uh, uh, Sunday, that Manchester City will, will have a, ha you see, it will be a handful for them to actually um, uh, uh, outmark in that game. It's going to be the fox in the box for Arsenal. Trust me. Talk about Martin Erdegaard. I'll get to Martin Odegaard. Um, Eddie, Eddie, also, that question he also asked, ask Chelsea who got the uh, the second Champions League for them. You know, who scored that goal for them? He has a knack for scoring in important games. He has a knack for, uh, uh, you know, scoring in the most important games, uh, 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 you know, for football clubs that he has played in. You know, that, look at that Liverpool game. He scored in, you know, against Liverpool for us. That's an important game, and he got a goal. Another important game was at the VTEC Stadium against Brentford. When Arsenal needed a goal, who bailed us out? Really? Kai Havertz. In the second like... game against Brentford, who was the guy that came out and bailed us out? Kai Havertz. Sure. You see, in as much as we want to you know, throw dust on his name, I'm not saying he's the most prolific. I'm not saying he's the best striker out there. I'm not saying that. But all I'm saying is that, you know, he's he been actually impactful. put some of us wrong. In some games, it's been yeah. Impactful. Exactly. Exactly. That's like, the word. Yeah, like you said, with that Brentford game for sure, like you know, if, if he didn't show up, then that would have it's been a draw. Tough. There will be no time to talk right now. Let's get that correctly. There'll be no time to talk right now. Sure. So you know, if Arsenal is gonna go at the end of the day and win this trophy at the end of the season, Kai Havertz will have to have a chapter written about him and his impact for Arsenal this season. Mm -hmm. A chapter has to be there for him. Okay. Lots of lots yeah. of uh, Kai love. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Hey. 
Yeah, so I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. okay. see, Sophia, I mean, it's not like I said I wanted this player. Let's get that correctly. It's not like I, I embraced him to the Arsenal. No, I didn't embrace him. In fact, I gave him 10 games to prove himself. He didn't prove himself. And I called, you know, I called, I called, I called it quits on him, you know. But later on, you know, he actually proved me wrong. And I'm that kind of guy that, um, you know, I'm humble in defeat. When someone defeats me, I say, hey, I'm sorry. I'll take that defeat. I'll learn more. So, you know, and of course, as an Arsenal fan, that's what I want. I want you to prove me wrong. I'm here as a critic. I'm also here as a fan, you know, and as a fan mm -hmm. of this football club. It, it, if you're not helping me get over the line, you're the enemy. So, you know, he wasn't helping us get over the line, you know, at first. Now he's doing it. Good and okay. Go on and get us a trophy. If you're doing it, you're my friend. I won a major trophy because for the past 20 seasons, I haven't found a you know a major trophy. If he gets it for me, trust me, I would sing his name. I will sing his name. Okay. Eddie here responds to you again, Tony. Tony, I read your articulation and counterpoints here. It'll just be a pity when City once again humble your team, Arteta still remains. Pep's sidekick. Thoughts? Good, good, good. Um, Eddie, good. I get that. Eddie, where were you when we when we first uh, uh, won this season? Yeah, Let, let's don't go back. When this season we won the first trophy of the season opener on neutral ground, not even not even at the Emirates. Throw the Emirates away. Where were you? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we'll face City in that first game this season, we beat them up. It's simple. It's easy. Yeah? And then we had to repeat that. We had to repeat that feat again. They came down to the Emirates. No one gave us a chance. No one gave us the lights of day. You saw what happened, yeah? One, uh, one, nil, one nil defeat to them. Now we're going to the home. What is the assurance is that Arsenal that have beaten these guys twice this season, why can't you believe it, Eddie, that we can go upstate and actually go there and get a result like what like why is it something out of the ordinary uh, for arsenal to go to the etihad you've totally forgotten that see i know i know these teams yeah i know these teams i'm about to mention i know these teams aren't uh, uh, uh manchester city but for crying out loud arsenal went to sheffield united away from home turning turn over a team six goals to nil yeah, the fans, that are leaving, the fans that are leaving. The fans, no, but there's a reason why I said that. The fans that are leaving after 17 minutes. That's what we do away from home. And that's an away game. And you know what? Yeah, when City went to Sheffield United, what happened? It took a 97, I think, 95th minute goal for Rodri to bail them out of Sheffield United. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. And then we'll go to West Ham. You know what it means scoring set pieces and disgracing David Moyes and his team at West Ham. You, you know what that means? Yeah? All West Ham fans out of the stadium after 45 minutes. Yeah? Come on, man. Come on, man. Arsenal can do this away from home. We can do it. I believe mm. in this team. And even what even gives me that assurance in this game is that Manchester City, although when this true city guy, uh, guy finds his way to the stream, I think we'll talk a lot more about tactics. But again, they have injuries in that team right now. June Stones isn't going to be there. <laughs> Kai Walker isn't going to be there. KDB, as far as I'm concerned, was injured. If he's coming into this game, he's coming to this game not 100%. Um, who else? Grelish hasn't been in on the action for how many weeks? God knows when. You know, I think he's still drunk from winning the treble last season. You know, that, that, if he throws him into this game... Good and okay. Let's see what we are mounted. But the thing there is that they're blighted by you know by injuries. City as a team are not playing as a unit this season. Yeah, you can sense it. You can smell it. You can sense it. It's there. They're not playing as a unit. They're not looking good like last season or three seasons ago. That's what makes this season a bit different. And see, mm -hmm. I do believe in something called um, the law of diminishing returns. You know, when you when you're that top dog in, you know, in the yard and you keep winning, 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 there'll just be a time that the thirst for glory just diminishes. And and, and I think that's, that's what my set in with City this season. I'm sorry. It, it just has to come. It just has to come. As for me, I think the stars are aligning. And on Sunday, the 
the stars will align full circle on Sunday. Okay, okay, I hear it. Uh, Rajat here says, man, city can activate God mode and 100% they will come to F it up, no offense. Okay. No offense taken, no offense taken, but why, but again, why do you think that city would automatically, yeah, activate God mode <laughs> when they couldn't do it all season? Come on, oh. man. Come on, man. This is the premiership. I, I, I don't know what type of God mode you're talking about, man, because is it the city team that struggled against Chelsea? Is it the city team that Liverpool, you know, could have smashed up by five goals to one on a good day if Diaz put his goals into the net? Come on, man. I see lapses in this Man City team. You do know. You know the City team and the City of last season and the City of two seasons ago. You know that. You know that. In fact, I, okay, see, let's even throw this out the window, yeah? Uh, where literally would they get goals from? Yeah, I'm coming with two centre-backs, yeah? Probably the best uh, centre-back parents in Europe right now. Best defensive side uh, uh, in the league. I'm struggling to see where these guys will find goals. We all do know that Erling Haaland hasn't even scored against the traditional top six this season by Manchester United. This season, he hasn't scored against top uh, uh, top uh, football teams. I'm not scared of this guy, even in the Emirate, um, even at the Etihad. It's going to be difficult. Difficult day, uh, day out for Erling Haaland. It's going to be tough for him. And of course, it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, seeing a familiar foe in um, William Saliba. You know, of course, I, I don't have to tell the Manchester fan who's looking at me right now. He knows that, you know, that Ellen Allen, you know, might just be pocketed at the 80 had, you know, come Sunday. It's very possible. I don't see where the goals will come from, apart from KDB. That's the only person. And maybe a little bit of folding, yeah, that, down there. But still, let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, welcome to the show, Patrick, True City fan. How are you? You good, mate? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, sorry for the delay. As I told you that I had to go uh, to a football match, so that's where I was. Uh, uh, big up, big up. Look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying all this, you know, this chest from Arsenal fans. It, it, well, if they want to show chest, it's good. It's just that I've been on a few streams, I've been telling them you have to be careful because... Liverpool know what it is. Liverpool were better than you guys at a point in time. And they still rode at the Etihad. They won the league, but still rode at the Etihad and never left with anything. And that was a better Liverpool side than this Arsenal side. But I get it. Look, it is what it is. When you're in form, everything is going well. You feel like you're on top of the world. It is, you, 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 want to, you want to shout. The funny thing is, they keep saying Saliba this, Saliba that. But I remember Saliba was there when we scored. We still scored with Saliba. He was there in the defense when we scored in one of the matches last season. So for me, all I'm saying is, look, it's a very, very important match. It's a very difficult match. And I'm actually happy that even though Arsenal are in great form right now, they're coming to the Etihad. If they want to ask Madrid and uh, Liverpool and other big teams that have come to the Etihad, when the Etihad decides to show up and say that we really want to win this, as most of the fans have already started tweeting and the local fans who organize all these flags have already started saying we want to make it sick. The thing about this Arsenal side is they're very emotional like that fan. Similar, they're very emotional. It's the same emotion that lost them the game uh, at uh, no, that caused them issues at Anfield last time when Xhaka started arguing. But look, I respect the opponent. I know what they're doing. They're doing very well. Uh, Pep Guardiola was one of the managers that backed Ateta. I remember when people were, say, were, were talking bad about Ateta and Pep said in his press that this kid or this young man will be a very good manager. You better give him a chance. But let me t let me say something. Uh, me being a treble winner and a Champions League winner, Arsenal fans can hold that, which you don't have. If you come to the Etihad, you better be coming that you don't miss. Because if you miss, you might be collecting four because I have seen big <coughs> teams in better form and big teams that are more scary I come there and collect four let's talk about Bayern Bayern collected uh, a lot of goals there let's talk about Madrid they collected four new and Madrid that time was scary so we'll see anyway but it is what it is I'm happy that uh Arsenal fans are showing chest because some are trying to play the victim card in other in other streams but big, big up to you for showing chest you know uh, which is very good yeah mm. uh, um see uh brother man see <laughs> 
obviously I do respect you. Yeah, uh, I've seen you on a couple of streams, and I, of course, I do respect your person. But see, I, um, I'll just straight straight right back to you, man. It, it's not about chest. Yeah, it, it it neither is it about talking up my team. Yeah, it's more about the evidence that I've seen in this team. Don't forget that last season, yeah, the Arsenal challenge were the only team to literally challenge you guys, yeah. Uh, for the title last season, what was Liverpool? They weren't there. You know, we were the ones that challenged it. Uh, and you've completely thrown out the window the experiences of these players at the time uh, when we did uh, uh, go to the Etihad. In fact, when we went to the Etihad and we lost that game at the Etihad, it did something to us mentally because that's the place where we actually lost everything last season. Yeah, we lost everything at the 80 had last season that was where our season just totally collapsed like that was the final nail in the coffin we knew it was totally over we weren't going to win the league after that there was no coming back and again it, you fail to understand what this does mentally yeah uh, to those players this season going up down there knowing that that was the same place where uh uh, uh you know where uh, the nail was shot down on the coffin uh, uh, last season they're going there with a different mentality but you're not we're not just going there with a different mentality we're also going down there with a different personnel this is what you're totally uh, uh, throwing out the window in that midfield yeah we have Declan Rice of course 105 million pound player but you can see what he has brought to the table for the Arsenal this season mind you last season did you know who we brought in in the in our centre-back pairing yeah, I do. I know who you brought in. Uh, but who? this is the who? thing. Who? Uh, who? I, I, no, no, no. I, 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 I allow you to speak. Who? who? No, 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 no. Who? who? I asked you a question. Was it Holden? Who did we was bring? It Holden? Was it Holden? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Exactly. Wait. Was, that the, was that the away one? Exactly. Was that the away one or the home wait, one? Wait, wait, wait. Let me check. Wait, let me check. Wait, let me check. Wait, I like facts. Let me check. I just asked you a simple question. That was Rob Holden. Right now, do you know who is down there? Yeah, let me check. probably no, the me best centre back pairing in the whole of Europe. Let, see, let's don't wow. throw that away. So the so, whole so Europe. See, yeah, so, uh, see, name me, just name me two better centre back pairings in Europe this season. Two, just two. Wow, the whole the whole view without naming so Arsenal. Come on, man. If if we, if we think, wow. no, no, no. See, there's no argument in that. If we do think that the Premiership mm -hmm. is the best league in the world and Arsenal is the best defensive side who has actually just conceded just only 24 goals in about 28 matches this season, then why aren't you saying that Arsenal is the best defensive side in the whole of Europe? If you do believe that the there. Premiership... They're definitely up there. See, you have to, doing we are the best well defensively in the whole of Europe. I'm, I'm sorry to say this. At least in the top leagues. Just name me two, two centre back pairings. Just two. None. That's what I thought. So, see, yeah, my brother, man, it's going to be a de very, very different thing. One thing I was expecting, I was, I, I was still thinking that this John Stone's injury was a gimmick, to be very sincere with you. But right now, no. I've confirmed that it's not a gimmick. It's really injured. Yeah, because I was really decision. thinking that, uh, in fact, my own personal strategy in this game, yeah, was going into the Etihad, knowing that Jones yeah. was going to definitely <laughs> run away in that game. I've done the research for you now. So, okay, you came with holding to the Etihad, right? Okay, so you held four. But at Emirates, you held three and Saliba and Gabriel were there. So what, what do you say about that now? Because at the Emirates, at your home, you had Saliba fit and you held three. What, what, so what, what do you say about that? Then who was in my midfield at the time? Oh, who was in, in my your midfield mid at the time? Oh my God, this is Thomas Partey. What happened oh to God. Thomas Partey? No, what happened Tommy. to Thomas Partey? This because I'm talking is, about this, the team this, this as a is, unit, and, and this is what you're getting wrong. This is what you're uh, getting wrong. I'm talking about I'm talking about Arsenal as a unit. Who did we have in the middle of the? So park? basically, every what? every time you've every time you say you've lost, it's just because you're missing somebody. It was Saliba first. Now it's Partey. Well, the proof is in the pudding. That, that, that was what happened. We missed Thomas Partey in the second half of mm -hmm. last season. We also okay, did so miss can I, can I use and, the they, and there's a fact. These are very feeble facts, my brother. Okay, so can, 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 no I, use, can, a, I, use, can I use this? Can I use the same? When we came to the Emirates and lost 1-0, we had no Rodri and De Bruyne. 
See, man. I, see, we yeah, all know yeah. your city. I, I'm not taking that away from you. Uh, no, 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 I'm not taking. I'm not taking that away from you. But again, you still have to recognize that coming into see, yeah, when you go into the Etihad, you Even need all your soldiers. Said you're shifting the post. I hear that you said you're shifting no, the post. No, good. A lot. No, good. Eddie, Eddie. See, don't worry, man. Enjoy. By the time we come down there on Sunday, we're coming with all our soldiers. There's no excuses this time. Or everyone is okay in my team. I'm going down there thinking, Man City, do you have all your soldiers ready? But you know what? Yeah, I was actually thinking that Jones was going to play this matchup. Yeah, because what I really wanted was for him to just roam away. I wanted him to just roam away because I really wanted to test a uh, uh, Diaz gangster, just him one on one with Kai Havertz. I just wanted to see that. But you know what? Yeah, it, it has. It, see, it's even more easier right now at this time john stones wouldn't be there you know so it's even more easier so now that walker 1v1, won't be there exactly exactly now you get it so right now i want to see that challenge from diaz versus kai havertz because kai havertz is really good is really going to torment that defense <laughs> yeah at the emirates I, I, i'm at the 80 hat see I, I really do know that uh manchester city always possess this territorial um, uh, uh, territorial domination uh, when it comes to the Etihad. I really do understand that. But this season, Arsenal has been able to hold fort and hold their own against teams that play high, you know, high-paced possession football, high-paced territorial uh, uh, dominant kind of football. We've hold fort with these teams this season. You know, that, that, name it, Liverpool, which are the... See, we've done it. We're more stronger on the ball. We'll hold the ball. We'll pass the ball more quicker. We're more versatile. Our counter press is something to, to be desired. We'll faint the press. Uh, 1v1, our dwarves are looking okay. Arsenal have the whole ammunition to go down to the 80 had and, and outgun these guys, mostly with the injuries that they have. This is the best time for the Arsenal to go into the 80 had and show them who's boss. Mind you, uh, You've totally, you've totally, totally forgotten. You've totally, totally forgotten also that this matchup, you're not going to be having Kyle Walker. You're not going to uh, be having him. So, so right now... So I, I, we've got Akanji. Akanji can still hold his own. But, but, but I, I'm sorry, I don't... And, 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 and this... I, I, it's, it, that, 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 that's I'm sorry, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't rate... Of, of I, I don't course, rate course. Akanji. Look, Akanji, I, I don't rate Akanji. Akanji, I don't rate Akanji. Akanji, Akanji. Akanji has been City's best center, has been City's best defender with Ake this season. And the thing about people is, this is what I like, you know, this is why I'm saying when people are talking with chest, they forget small things. Do you know that City fans actually wanted Akanji over Walker in this match? Why do you think so? Why do you ah, think City fans wanted Akanji on, instead man. of Walker? Come, come on, man. Oh, if you watch, uh, if you watch, this is what you, I don't like. So now no, are you see, saying, so see, Kai Walker is the most is the most all-rounded defender that you have in your team. Yeah, it's but, your best but defender. When we, when, when we went, let me ask you something. None. When we went Why to the Champions would you pitch when we, Akanji over Kai Walker, my brother? You know, during our Champions League run, do you know do this, man. Don't do well, this. Let, let, let me answer you, Tony. During our Champions League run, which we were undefeated, do you know Walker was holding the bench? It was Akanji playing as a, a as a, as a fallback. You know that, right? And we we went yeah. through undefeated. Let me tell you something. It's actually for me, believe it or not, it's actually a miracle. I'm not trying to say that it's good that Walker is injured. It's just like a miracle that it's actually Akanji who's fit this time because Akanji and Ake they are very good at one thing. They are good at one v one defending. When you're playing Martinelli and Saka, Saka, who was pocketed by Ake multiple times, by the way, uh, hold that. Uh, Akanji will surely pocket Trossard more than Walker. Walker has had a very bad season. It's been a very bad season. He was done by Isaac. Uh, he he was done by by uh, by what's his name? Uh, Gordon Raheem. <laughs> Uh, send him around with the same thing. So Akanji is the best right now to beat. So if we roll with Akanji, Diaz, uh, Ake or Josko Vadio, those four, I'm still confident that my centre backs will do the job. So if Arsenal fans think, oh, because John Stones and and Walker not here, we're there to face. No, yeah, yeah, well, you're wasting your time. The centre back experience are still strong. The only one I could have been worried would be if I heard Ake is down. I could have been worried more if Ake was down. Now let me tell you, which is also good. De Bruyne has been training with the under-23s. You know, he wasn't injured. 
That's the one that was in, was it was a lie. He wasn't injured, and then Jack Grish has also been training with the under 23s. Obviously, he might not play, but Jack if you look, Grealish, at, look, Jack Grealish look, doesn't have it doesn't have a competitive game for how many weeks? Nah, he's very good. He's very, he's very good. You, so to, so to right games. now, are you gonna throw? Are you gonna throw? Jack Grealish into a very, very no, 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 no. I was just, I was just telling you, I was just, like this I was just, I was just telling you what Arsenal. we have. So this, this Arsenal side, when we went to you, as I said, there was key members missing. Right now, I am more confident, and you're coming at our home, and KDB is fit and fresh and looking slimmer, by the way. And then we have Rodri, who looks fresh because he was rested after his only one international game. And then we've got Kovacic, who's actually very good next to next to Rodri right now. Bernardo Silva is back to his best. He's also playing very well. And then you've got Foden, who is one of the players in form. And you guys keep just saying, have us. No, These are the names you're throwing at us, have us. How many goals has he scored? See, you can't just keep throwing this. You eyes, can't just keep eyes. Throwing this you word. have to also watch football how, how, how is he back to his best? How many goals has he scored in the last five games? See, oh, you know yes. what? Yeah, where this oh, game so would be won? Where this, ge where this game will be won, yeah, is mostly, uh, uh, mostly the team, yeah, that, that is more judicious with their counter attack and is more um that holds forth during the transitions that's where i see uh, uh, you know uh, uh, that's who i see winning do, do this you, game do and you think and, 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 and i do think and and i do think that arsenal's transitions are better this season i do think we're more quicker i do think that our counter attack looks more scarier and and the reason why i'm saying this is because when, when City are leading their counter press, yeah, they do need most of their defenders to lead their counter attacks also. And they're also moving in like seven, six players. And most of them are out of shape when they're going through all this uh, 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 serious press. What happens when you do give those balls away? In the middle of the park, and mind ask, you, we do have yourself, Declan Rice. We do have yourself, wait, let me land. Wait, let me land. And we do have Declan Rice in the middle of the park. Mind you, we do have Jorginho. See, it would just take one pass. It just takes one pass from Jorginho after that counter. It just takes one pass to find man, Martin Odegaard and spread the defense wide before, open. Because, because Vadio, because Vadio and uh, Vadio Lakonji, they will be all out of shape trying to get into that, uh, you know, leading your counter press. You'll be totally out of shape. And man, you know what? Yeah, I don't trust. Sincerely, I don't trust City's defenders because you've not defended properly. This Not really you've not defended properly, but I still think that there's a gap in this Manchester City defense. Come on, man. You guys shipped you in goals look, from this you Chelsea look. team that I, I don't respect this season. See, yeah, but do it doesn't, you know it doesn't another. Wait, wait, let me land. Wait, let me land. Do you know who's running at you? Do you know who's running at you at the wide areas? Yeah, uh, come uh, 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 Sunday at the 80 hat. You know what? Yeah, this is not Noni Maduwiki. Let's get this correct. This is <laughs> not Noni Maduwiki. This is not Raheem Sterling. This is not Anthony. See, you have Bukayo Saka what, running why at you. You have Gabriel Martinelli, fresh from yard, who is running at you. Because this game, will it will be so stretched, yeah, uh, that I will relish the one-on-one -on -one battles. That, that's what I want to see. Can, can, can again, I, we can do I have, tell you? We do, we do have a fox in the box, a six-foot-plus player that you, you're actually trying to deny right now in Kai Havertz, who I think will really cause problems. So the game changes. So I really do think that from the wide areas there'll be there'll be lots of things to desire. City don't like players or don't like teams that get at their faces. I do think that our wide players will get at their faces. Have a go. Try to run in behind their defenders because I really do think that when City uh, uh, go on this counter, uh, you know, on this counter attacks and counter press or whatever that they do, you know, they will leave. Uh, you know, they will leave spaces open for Arsenal to exploit. And what mind about, you, that's what about why, that's why Martin Odegaard is very key in this game. I do think you yeah. will spread your defence wide open. Just yeah. come with oh. that energy on. Oh, you know, okay. at the 18, yeah, most of your injured players, most of your yeah. injured, players. and you should even be talking with lots of chest because Jones, Jones is leaving a very big gap in that defence. Very, very big gap. You better be uh, careful for what you're talking I, I, about I, 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 right I can't now. Be that. very, do, in fact, you be know? very okay. careful okay. about okay. what you're speaking right just now. Just let him respond to what you said. Go. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, yeah. You, you ahead, know, what? this this is what makes me laugh. And uh, you know, the thing is, I, I am a seasoned veteran on all this because I have been on streams with Liverpool fans when we were on title races. I've been on streams with Madrid fans. 
same threats. They talked about Vinicius Junior, who I think he can start for Arsenal, and Vinicius Junior can also start for City. That's a more of a bigger threat. We're talking about Benzema, who was killing people, regardless what it is. Those are the threats I was talking about. Man's coming out here threatening me with Jorginho and Kai Havers. Let me also give you an opposite to yourself. I'm telling you, the, no matter how bad you think Haaland is, he's had better games with you in the top six. It's the team, it's you guys. He's actually had a better game with. Because the way he, every time he holds the ball, then brings it down for De Bruyne. That's what, I let me threaten you too. What about Ford and Treble in the Ford and he's coming at you and your, your defenders? What about Haaland, who's the top goal scorer, even though he's having a bad season? What, 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 what about Bernardo Silva? Bernardo Silva can play to the right. And then in our midfield, we've got KDB, Kovacic and Rodri. What about all this? Do you know, if you've been watching uh, City recently, the issues that City had, especially in that Chelsea game, is Pep Guardiola had an obsession, an obsession with Alvarez as a midfielder. That's why we were being exposed. He kept on putting Alvarez in midfield and mm -hmm. even myself during my preview, I was like, Pep, it's not working. We went to bridge and we were open wide. Why are you doing it again? He did it again with Spurs. We drew that game again. Every top six team, he keeps putting that. And recently, he's decided to big say, up you know, Melina. Ah, big up Melina, yeah. And recently, Melina. he's decided to put Kovacic in that midfield. You know why? Because he knows that I'm missing Gundogan and Kovacic is the nearest thing I can put next to Gundogan right now. So trust me, if you're coming to the Etihad, you're not going to have those holes anymore. He's Definitely going to play a midfield that's more settled. He's dropping Bernardo Silva in that midfield or Kovacic in that midfield next to Rodri because he knows you guys can be able to dominate the ball. So this game, I don't think it's going to be as easy as Arsenal fans think it is because these threats of your fan three... No, I've not said it's going to be easy. No, 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 no. You get, I've, I've never said it's going to be easy. Have you said it's... Have I, no. Did you hear me say it's going to be easy? No. I'm only saying that Arsenal is more quicker with There's our transitions. There's a comment there. There's a comment there. There's I'm comment just there. saying that Arsenal is more quicker with our transitions. We're more quicker with our counter attacks. And I do think that when we're going for a press, or when we are pressing, actually, when we go out of shape, whenever we go and move forward with the ball, whenever we're having a counter attack, we do have fast, pacey players who have who are great in terms of recovery. Our recovery so you're breaking the record. Uh, you're breaking the Etihad record. You guys are breaking it. This record. No, no. no it, it, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not about record here. It, it's mostly about our defensive shape. How we set up our defensively. The way we come back after a counter-attack or after a counter-press. Uh, these are the things that determines if we're going to win that game tomorrow. And I've looked at every available start this season. And City are way off. The way off. I'm sorry. The way. How many off. points are we behind and, you though? The, Been way off. How many points the, are we behind you? Been the way off. The way off. No, I'm talking of statistically. I'm talking of statistically. No, I'm asking you that since you're a stats man, how many points are we behind you? Why we are we are, we are way off? No, it's of well, come on, man. It's just it's just one point. But again, so, see, so you, city is what city didn't have KDB didn't have most of their uh, senior players most of the season because they kept on dropping and they were way off and then we are still one point behind you doesn't that tell you that this team is dangerous if if if, if you win the if you win this title this season at what rank where would you rank the season with in terms of amazing gameplay amongst the titles you've won in the last five seasons, including the Centurion season. Can I say something? Uh, the good thing about winning titles a lot of times, like myself, where we, this might be a forfeit for us, uh, for if we win it is I don't I'm not getting impressed with what we play anymore. We're all about winning. I don't rank anything anymore. I just thought about winning. That's, Let me tell you that's something. what I'm it's saying now. Trouble. That's it's, the indictment I wanted. Answer. You know, you know, no, 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 because it, it just gave me the indictment I wanted. That was the indictment. You don't rate the season. This season isn't really looking good. No, you're not, not like you, that. I think, see, I think you're, you're not, you're, you're, you're not you're defending not, you're, better. You you're see what he's doing? He's, you're not, he's putting you're words not defending in my mouth better. Now. Putting words. I didn't say you're that. You're not I don't defending better. I Your counter-attacks are, are even more quicker. You're even that bad in counter-attacks this season. It's not really looking good. So you're going you to win. Yeah, the top so you're going to win. To the AT hat. You better be ready. My brother, of course I'm coming to win. This is the most important game for Arsenal this season. If Arsenal doesn't win this game, we don't win the league. It's simple as that. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Wait, wait, let me this ask you something. Know. They, they know let me about ask you this. Something. 
Okay, and and they, they knew what we had last season. You guys broke our dreams at the 80 had. That was where the coffin was shot last season. And this let, season, let I think they've though. grown a pair. Guys, guys, they've one at a time. One at a time. No, no, no. Yeah. Wait, let me finish. Let me because I'm Go tired ahead, of I'm tired of people putting Arsenal to the cup. And I'm see, we're not got them tied to race. And I'm tired of people putting us in, you know into the curb. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. You know what? Yeah, see. I really do think that we have grown since last season. Last season, we're, more, more, we're not multidimensional like, than we are this season. This season, see, we have different forms and different ways we could win a game. Even if we could keep a, uh, uh, you know, a mid-block, just like what we did at the Emirates, keep a mid-block and you know, take chances that we get from that. Could we? we can throw that all away. We can actually look ball straight up to Kai Havertz, the six foot plus German machine, the German giraffe down there. Just send the balls into him. That's another tactical move. And you're also throwing away the threats that Arsenal poses in set pieces. How about that? Arsenal scored more goals in set pieces than any team in the league this season. Why you lost me aren't on you top looking top. at this threat from you lost Arsenal? Me on top we top. never. We never had this threat going into the Etihad last season. You we even have a more superior defence this season. We have the, probably the best centre-back pairings in the whole of Europe. Why aren't mm -hmm. you respecting Arsenal, putting respect on our name just for having these things? I really do think if City win this game against Arsenal, you win the league. If Arsenal goes down to the, uh, to the Etihad, don't win that yeah. game against uh, 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 City uh, come Sunday, we don't win the league. So it's go or bust. We have to win this. We have to win this game against City. It's so important. A draw it's doesn't important. do anything. So imagine what the, uh, what Mikel Arteta is telling the boys: We need to win this game. It's 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 either win or bust. If we don't win it, then let's let, let's just look away because City will win this title you if, lost if, if we don't beat them. Sophia, and we are you, the only we are the only yeah. team that can yeah. actually beat City right yeah. now. Yeah. Trust me, yeah. we are the only let's team just, who can do damage yeah. to City right now. We've beaten you twice. We can do it again. Simple as that. Yes. Go ahead, Patrick. Uh, you you lost me on top dog. When you say top dog, uh, you lost me there, Tony. And I I feel the fire inside you. But Tony, I'm telling you, I'm just repeating this. If you speak to Liverpool fans, they came with more chest, and I was more threatened. I was actually shaking before the game i'm not shaking before your game i'm relaxed i'm gonna have a good sleep i'm gonna have a good coffee in a few minutes enjoy myself it's not like i don't respect arsenal it's just that you can't call yourself top dogs why for the past 24 years you haven't won any premier league you can't call yourself top dogs you haven't been in the champions league for a long time you can't say we are top dogs where, where were you when i was winning premiership Tony? title Tony? yeah Let's where, just where, let where, finish where were you when you I was in. winning premiership titles? See, okay. yeah, see, you can win all these titles, yeah, but it's with cheating. See, you have you have 115 okay. indictments to think about. How about that? How about that? Okay. How about that? Okay. How yeah. about that? 115. About that? You might not even mm -hmm. be in this league next season, my brother, man. True talk. You, you, True you talk. see, that that's the thing. True I didn't I, I didn't I didn't throw anything to say. I was just saying you can't call yourself top dog while for the past few seasons you haven't done any top dog stuff. Okay, let me explain to you and break it down to you, Tony. First of all, you guys seasons ago, you were supposed to make top four favorites to make top four. Guess what happened? You bottled that, and then you were supposed to win the league. You stayed there for uh, 90 something percent. You bottled that. So, let me say this to you this Ateta guy of yours is he a bottler, or this is your manager going forward with? Because if it was up to me, I have seen him bottle top four, he's bottled the league. Why being favorites? And now you're saying you're top dog. How can a top dog be a bottler? You get my point? No, no, I said top dog in terms of the context through which I'm coming in. I'm so coming in as content. a top dog because content. I'm top of the league. And you better start point. putting respect on it because I'm, I'm I'm top of the league for a reason. There's a reason why I'm there. There's a reason why I've scored 33 goals in, in eight matches. Are you serious? There's a, there's a reason why I've scored 70 goals in 28 matches in the Premiership this season. My brother, man, put some respect on our name. That's what I'm uh, saying. I'm just you saying, know, don't call yourself you know, top dog. You, you, can't, you, you, can't, just say, you can't just say you're sipping tea. top dog right now. You Dude, know, you're sitting easy dog. and Arsenal is coming. Come on, man. The top dogs of the league are coming oh. down there. And no, you'll be wary. You'll top be wary. Is a champion. Be wary. A top I'm dog sorry, is a champion. Man. A top dog is a okay. champion. You're not champions. That's what I'm saying. You're not champions. And the thing yeah. about it is, uh, I think somebody I said that, in, get that argument. Somebody, somebody, somebody said in the chats that every time rival fans get triggered, they start talking about 115. That just even shows you're not top dog because you want to start bringing charges. If you were top dog, you say, I don't care about your charges. I'm coming to slap you on the pitch at the Etihad. 
charges, charges. That's what people are crying about. But let me tell you something also. And I'm going to tell this to Arsenal fans. And I said it last time and people thought I was cocky. After your your biggest uh, Arsenal fan channel, AFTV, made that Martin Luther King speech by, by Robbie, I told people, I, I tweeted and said, you guys be careful with this chest of yours, which you bring to the Etihad. You'll be rinsed. And I'm telling this to all Arsenal fans. When you get rinsed on Sunday, don't hide. I want chest. I want this chest did, to continue. Did you rinse Liverpool? Did huh? you rinse to Liverpool? No. Did you really. rinse Liverpool? Our team wasn't did, that did great, but I can use did, the same did, thing did you as your team wasn't that great. Sports? Our team yeah? wasn't that did great. Did you rinse Chelsea? The Bruyne and Rodri were not there. The Bruyne and Rodri were not there. Oh my days! Oh my days! Did you rinse can... Chelsea? Chelsea put see Chelsea that Chelsea team put four behind your back at the back of your net. Four, mm -hmm, four, mm -hmm. four goals. Did, and you did know, you see the team that played though. What? Yeah, none in my wiki is in coming on Sunday. Yeah, but I'm no, still. I'm, wiki still I'm, on still not, I'm, I'm still. Raheem not Sterling isn't afternoon. coming on Sunday. Uh, but my but brother, it's a different threat out here. Wait, 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 our wait, wait, wide areas. See, our wide areas is something you should be thinking about right now. In fact, you should be having sleepless night right now, as I speak. No, I'll, no, I'll because sleep well. To, see, I'll that well. game is going to be won in this area. I've told you. The wide areas, the wide areas. No, see, he's asking that. Did that's not be Chelsea? There's a question for you. Ask it to him. Ask it him. There's a question for you here. Did that's gonna be Chelsea? No, 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 true city fan. No, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm loving this. I, I like this. I like no, this, answer, brother. Answer oh, my the God, question, I would love, answer to, the I would love to do shows with you. You know what? Tony, yeah, see, true city fan. You completely, you completely, you completely throwing at the window okay. that Jones isn't gonna be in this team. He no, brings question, a lot to your question, team. Question. He's the one that protects Diaz. And you know what? Yeah, you know okay. what? Yeah, Diaz is gonna be one v one versus Sky Average tomorrow. Okay. I want to see what happens. Throw that all uh -huh. away. You've completely just thrown away Kai Walker and what he does for your team. You've completely just thrown him away. And you know what? Yeah, if 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 Kai Walker isn't playing tomorrow, naturally you need that midfielder who would tend to defend more, and that means Kovacic is gonna come into play for you guys tomorrow so be ready to see Kovacic and you know Kovacic is a little bit more slower you know can help you more attacking wise so that's a plus <laughs> that's a minus one for Man City tomorrow the because question, I, don't see, the question? I don't see I don't see I don't see a case where Kai Walker won't be in the game tomorrow answer the question, no, answer the question Tony. Nah, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, <and> actually, <laughs> see, we got a draw, we got a draw, but it was a decent draw. What uh, are you talking about? It's a draw at the end of the day. Draw. It's a draw at this the end of the man day. Them, yeah, this man city man, them, yeah, they went down to Chelsea four goals. What are you talking about? That's not the same. A draw is a draw. Give them respect on my defenders. I it think, was, I think on the records, it just says D, it just says D, it just says D, or something like that. Come on, man, they didn't score four goals at the back of our net, yeah, but it says D, it says D. No, no, DD, no, DD, no, DD. They scored four, four goals what? at the back of and I Tony, don't... Tony. Wait. wait, 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 wait. There's a super chat that came in for you, Tony. Obviously, we are to live on all of uh, everybody's YouTube channel, so we live on Tony's YouTube channel, the same on Patrick's YouTube channel, and of course, on my as well. So I just wanted to put some respect on your super chat, Tony. Okay, you want you, yeah, you want to read yeah. this out? Go ahead. Yeah, sure. See, shout out to Miss Melina. Yeah, you know I love you uh -huh. all the time. Me and Miss Melina will be having a watch along to uh, on Sunday uh, uh, for the matches. See, I have to bring all my you know all my ammunition. Uh, Miss Melina will be joining me. You guys know she she's a very amazing person. She has helped me on my channel, yeah. and she says yeah, quite confident for Sunday. Two goes to one. Arsenal win. Koi, come on, you gunners. And if you're a gunner, see, if you're an Arsenal fan, see, I, we might not like Mikel Arteta. Me too, I want him out of the football club. But you know what, yeah? Let's support this team. City, City, right now, City, right now, are the most vulnerable that they could be. Very vulnerable. Carl Walker is not playing. John Stones isn't playing. KDB was injured. Even if he comes back, he's not 100%. We have that time right now and the chance to actually go to the Etihad and get a result. We can do it. If we don't do it this time, I don't see any time we're doing it again. If we don't win, just throw this, just throw the title away because we have to go there and we have to win. This has to be a win, a win or bust. And that's why I know that Mikel Arteta will be telling these boys, you have to win this game. It's all about Pep. What do Pep be saying? What do Pep be saying? 
I, I don't know. I don't know. You're the you're the one coming into this game with lots of uh, injuries. I'm going down there with all my soldiers. So two, you know, injuries, I don't know two, what two, whatever is telling two, them. I don't know. Two. I'm coming to the team like you know, like. You no, look, look, as I said at the beginning when I started this, look, uh, I don't blame Arsenal fans for coming chest, but Arsenal fans, sometimes you come with over chest. That's the only issue that I have because you rate your team highly. I've been looking at combined X's, I said, and there's only three City players getting into that combined X. I'm like, we've seen this before. I'm calm. And uh, Miss Melina, big up to you. We, we talk to each other and we're friends, but you're saying we'll be humble yeah, on Ms. Sunday. Melina, you must remember, I repeat this again, you must remember, this is not the Emirates, this is the Etihad. And when the Etihad, there's a game like this one. Forget about Liverpool coming there and getting a draw. When there's a game like this one where the players, like people like KDB, people, even you can go check the trailer for our new treble, um, our new treble uh, series coming in. Obviously, you guys have never won a treble, so you can hold that. But anyway, I'm saying, when you come to the Etihad during these moments, trust me, guys, it's different. And I'm telling you, the best you can just pray for is a draw. Don't have chess saying you're leaving the ATR with three points. You can have it because I know you're informed, but this will be a, a, a rude awakening for you on Sunday. And I see all of you overconfident. You might come with tears. And the funny thing about Arsenal fans, I know where to find you. It's easy to find you. It's either on AFTV crying or we'll see you on your streams arguing with each other on the spaces. So we'll see. We'll see. For now, we'll see. That's all I can say. Okay. Interesting. I mean, all right, man. so... How do you guys, obviously, I mean, Tony, very adamant, very confident, <laughs> love it. Hey, Patrick, confident. We, we, I, I love this. I'm just a neutral. I'm just going to enjoy myself. Hopefully my team, it's not about my team, but hopefully my who are, team. Who are you playing? Who are you playing? Tomorrow. Hmm? Who are you playing? Who are you playing? Brentford. Away or home? Away. 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 Ah, that's a. <laughs> I still think we'll get the job done, but, you know, that's, it is what it is. We'll yeah, the big later. boys, the big boys of Manchester are going to Brentford. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm joking, joking. Let's go, let's go. I just had to throw that there. <laughs> but I mean, we, we've been here for over an hour. Big up, by the way, to everybody that's watching on all the platforms. Big up to everybody. Yeah. Make sure that you like everything, subscribe to all the channels. It's linked in the title mm -hmm. and in the description. So mm -hmm. show some love, okay? It really does mm -hmm. help. But I wanted to, you know, hear. Before we slowly start to wrap up, though, I want to hear from both of you guys. How do you think each of your managers will set up the team? Am I starting or Patrick, Tony starting? Start? Oh, yeah, look, it's quite simple. Um, just for the fact that this season, as I said, when he's played the top six, I don't know why he's decided to be going with... Uh, with Alvarez, it didn't work. So he started dropping Alvarez. Then he started playing Kovacic. You can also say in that Liverpool game, you see, things did not go so well. Then he brought in Kovacic and he said things settled, you know, in the midfield. I think he's going to set up with the back four, obviously. Akanji is right back. And then we're going to have uh, Diaz and uh, uh, Diaz and Josko in me, uh, as the centre-backs. And then Ake as a left-back. And then we'll have, uh, obviously, Rodri with Kovacic. Or maybe we'll have Rodri with Bernardo because we have a lot to play with. But I'm going to put Rodri with um, Rodri with Kovacic and then De Bruyne in that number 10 for him to roam around. And then we'll have uh, Foden at the left and the Haaland down the middle. And Bernardo Silva, who's very good in pressing in very these big games. He presses very well as the right winger. I think that's a capable team enough to get the job done. That's better than that midfield we had of Kovacic, Bernardo as a DM. At the Emirates, you know, I was the one way we were missing Rodri, and we had to just make a makeshift, uh, a makeshift midfield. So, this midfield we are gonna have right now, I think, is more settled and more capable. And the thing about Jorginho is, I love Jorginho playing against City because every time Jorginho plays against City through the past, maybe not now, but through the past, he's easy to press sometimes. We've taken advantage of him before, we've isolated him before in the past. I remember when, when Jorginho uh decided to play holding a midfield against us, and we beat Chelsea 6-0 and then we played against Jorginho again yeah. I think in, in, in at the Emirates and then we made them all 3-1 so we love Jorginho we do and Pep loves Jorginho because he wanted to sign him but Jorginho right now if I'm putting Kovacic Bernardo Silva in that midfield or I'm putting Kovacic Rodri and De Bruyne I have my chances better than Jorginho being in that midfield for Arsenal so that's how we're going to approach it and you, let me just say even the other approach 
I think people are expecting a high scoring game. I don't think that's going to happen here. Mm-hmm. I think both sides are going to be very careful. It's going to be one of those games you do this, we do this, we see who's going to break down, we we'll see whose focus is going to the mistakes that are going to be made in defense. As Tony says, that defenders are on point right now, so they'll be very concentrated. It'll be the same thing for, for City. Whoever breaks sweat first, I think, is going to lose in this game. It's not going to be a fast-paced game like the Liverpool one because Liverpool like to play fast, uh, fast-paced. But City, when they play big teams or when they play a team that is claiming to be a big dog, we make sure that we play a very calm game. So, up to you, Tony. Tell us how you're going to approach it. Um, see, Brother Patrick, yeah. See, I, I, I just like that waffle you just talked about, about Jorginho. Oh, my days. When you lost at the Emirates, who was there as our CDM? Was Jorginho there, yes or no? When you lost at the Emirates, yes or no? That's a yes or no answer. He was also there when you lost 3 1. No, 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 don't, don't do this. No, see, pa- Patrick, don't, don't, don't do this. Come on, man. Uh, don't, don't do, don't be shameless now. Don't do this. <laughs> because you, you, you just talked about Jorginho and talked about how you've had a nice time with this guy on a Chelsea shirt. When you came to the Emirates, did this guy was this guy part of the team that defeated you guys? At the yeah, MMA? but you were, you were playing against Bernardo Silva. It, it, it's, 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 it's a yes. It's a it's, it's a yes or no answer. Context. Yes you have to put no. context. You have to put context. No, no, no. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yeah, we was did, but but we did have yeah, a yeah, yeah, DM that, in midfield. That's all. I, uh, but, 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 that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. He was there, and you know what? Yeah, he's coming back again. Yeah, let him to come. the eighty had. He's I'd coming back be, again. I'll be threatening if it was Thomas Party and Rice. To put you I'll guys be in your place. To put you guys in your place. See, Arsenal fans, yeah? Don't be scared about what this guy has just said. Yeah? Don't be scared. If it is this same Manchester City team, yeah, that got over the line against Sheffield United, yeah, that just rolled, rolled and crawled to the end of the game. It took a 95th minute winner, yeah, from Rodri to get them over the line against Sheffield United. Bonmouth nearly steamrolled these guys. These guys couldn't even get past Liverpool. You know what? Mm. Yeah, you know what happened to Liverpool? We went to Anfield, we got a draw. When it came to the Emirates, you saw what happened. So I, I don't know what you're talking about. This Liverpool are more pacey team. They got slaughtered at the Emirates. What are you talking about? Patrick? So, how are you gonna approach you know this what? game? Yeah. How are you gonna approach this game? Mm. Good, it's okay. See, David Raya, you know, fresh from his heroics from FC Potter, you know. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> oh, this is funny. This is so funny. I'm oh giddy. I'm giddy with it. I'm giddy with it. I'm giddy with it. You know, he's coming back. He's <laughs> coming back funny. fresh from his heroic, mm. you know, uh, 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 from Potter. You know, he'll be back. And, um, you know, the uh, see, guys, yeah, I've been raving about this, uh, uh, you know, all stream, the best centre-back pairing in the whole of Europe. If you have a better one, please name them for me. Just name them. Humbly name them for me. So, you know what, yeah? Gabriel. How do you, how do you approach the game? Two centre-back two, two back parents, you know. Uh, the best in Europe. You know, Patrick, if you have something to say, please interrupt me. If no, they're not no, the no, best no, no, in no, Europe no, no. Right I want, I want, I want you to show you No, I will give you the, the floor. If you have something to say, you. you can say. Good, that's what I thought. Then we have um, Benjamin White at the right. Right back. Or have Kivio. Mm. In this type of game, yeah, someone like Zichenko will come in handy in that in that left back position. But because mm-hmm. Kivio has come in down that flank to actually stabilize that place for us defensively. Um, and again, I, I don't need a defender that won't sit back and recover quite quickly. So even if we're going to the Etihad, we, we have to be more disciplined uh, at the back. Discipline is key. Discipline is key to the way we want to play. Discipline is key to the way we want to move the ball and, and mostly during transitions. These are very important. So I would like to see Kivio handle that left okay. back position. Conservative with it. You know, just stay back there. Don't overlap too much. Be very careful. Sit back. Give us a very big, 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 uh, 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 you know, output down there in the defense. Um, in the middle of the pitch, I want to see Jorginho now. I was thinking of Thomas Partey, but no. Hell no. Patrick has just, you know, made me get angry. So right now, I want Jorginho down there. <laughs> yeah? How about that? Jorginho, Martin Odegaard, and of course, Declan Rice. 
uh, then definitely um, I would like, because I heard that Martinelli is now, you know, <laughs> is now, you know, is fit. And Patrick, this is the one that should give you sleepless nights from tomorrow. Just imagine, just imagine, yeah? Just imagine Gabriel Martinelli. <laughs> yeah? Just imagine. See, my brother, I know, see, out of, see, I know you have an ego. See, brother, see, Patrick, see, yeah. After the stream, we'll shake hands. But you know what, yeah? <laughs> I know you have an ego. I know you have a face to keep up with, oh. yeah, on stream. You need to look like the tough guy. I don't uh, understand that. Guys. But you know, you know when you sleep on Saturday and you hear that Martinelli is showing up and you don't have Kyle Walker down there, you know, and it's probably maybe, who? Who is going to defend? It's Akanji. It's Akanji. It's Akanji, a, a, a Kanji, right? Akanji, right? You know. You, 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 you. you no, you, brother, you know. You know. You no, no, bro. No, no, bro. But you know, you know. Okay, good. no problem. No problem. And then Bukayo Saka will be down uh, down that right. And again, one thing Patrick... With Ake, okay, who's pocketed him uh, many times, isn't it? Ake has pocketed Bukayo Saka. No, pro yeah, no, pro no problem. No problem. <laughs> See, no problem. But what do you think What do you think Bukayo Saka will be saying to himself when he was watching Ake completely have a complete stinker in the international against Germany? What do you think Bukayo Saka is sitting right there right now thinking? About the stinker that Netanyahu had in Holland. As a full back on, or as a centre back, where, where was he playing? Come, come on, bro. Go check. He's your player. I, 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 I don't <laughs> like Ake anyway. I don't like it. So, Ake is a humble guy. Ake is no, he's a great guy, but he's Man City, so I don't like it. So, anyone I mean, that wears the course. City crest, I don't like any of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, why, why, why would they ask him? I don't about like any. Of, I, I don't like any of them. So, you know what? Yeah, Bukayo Saka will have that run in with, with Nathan Ake. That would be a very big battle. But one thing you fail to understand is that Ben White, uh, you know, has been in the second half of this season the best right back that we have in this league. I'm sorry. It might not be the most complete right back. Yeah. But definitely, definitely he has shown signs of serious, serious, serious. Uh, capabilities. He's been able to get in at the end of goals this season. He's been able to get in at the end of crosses this season, which I think will be very, very key. And again, when he uh, uh, kind of like um, um, overlap, definitely, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. He will just be down there helping out Bukari Saka, whipping those passes, help cover up Bukari Saka. Bukari Saka can also help him out, you know, uh, uh, in recovery, mostly when, uh, uh, you know, is uh, out of his depth in that right-hand side. So I, I do see uh, good things coming from the right-hand side. Mostly the crosses that he whips uh, 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 across the goal line. That I really think that will be a constant threat in that match on Sunday. So, you know, and again, one person you would not like to acknowledge right now, Kai Havertz, six foot plus German giraffe down there standing, waiting. Yeah. Um, I, I, I want to relish that battle with, uh, uh, with Diaz and, and Kai Havertz. I really do think that would be a tasty battle. Not because Kai Havertz is a prolific striker, but because of what he brings to the table. Aerially, you know what he brings. is It's tight, aerially. Uh, six foot plus, he can get in, you know, his head into those headers. It could push, he could, you know, shoulder people. He could it could literally be a nuisance, in, you, know, in, you know, in that opposition box. So uh, that's what I see. And see, yeah, guys, in the important games, Kai Havertz has been able to get us over the line. He might just get us over the line on Sunday. See, my brother, Patrick, that's what I'm coming uh, 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 with on, on Sunday. Don't forget set pieces. We're also amazing in set. People tend to forget this and throw this away. We're also good in set pieces. Uh, Kai Havert is under dimension. I could keep a low, I could keep a mid block and just, you know, attack whenever I like. I have different dimensions to my game that could literally hurt you. My counter press are looking better. My duels are looking better. My one-on-one -on -one battles are looking better. I hold on to the ball more better. I pass the ball more better. I'm more versatile with the ball. The Glenn Rice oh gives us that God. defensive solidity. Access to the box, surplus. My set piece, individual battles, feints in the press. See, I don't need to go into all these catchphrases and all these words. We are that good this season. So, you know what, yeah? <laughs> Let's just see what happens on Sunday, Patrick. Let's see what happens. That's what I'm coming with on Sunday. The question is, Patrick, what are you going to come with on Sunday? What are you going to come with? 
I, I, I am, I am, I'm coming with the top goal scorer of the of of uh, of last year or this year too. Even though they say he's not great, I'm coming with a six foot plus Holland who is a Norwegian, <laughs> a Norwegian bouncer. You can talk about that. Yeah. No, no. Catch, I'm, oh no, no, my me, God! Who's end up in pocket this let season? Let, let, let me see what I'm. Well, you just with. let him let let us know what what he's bringing. And and then I'm also bringing KDB who owns Arsenal. There's even a video posted on the on the on the city page of KDB dunking on Arsenal over and over again. And as I said, he looks more slick and he looks more slimmer and more fitter. And this is KDB who's gonna be captain on the day. The highest, even though he came from being injured, he's actually caught up a few players on assist already. And this is just a guy who was injured and he's hungry. And then I'm coming there with Foden, who's been one of the best players this season. If somebody wants to hate on that, you're just lying to yourself. He's actually been very good in the middle, better than Odegaard this season down that middle. He's actually been good. And then I'm coming with Rodri, who's never lost for a while. He hasn't lost for a record. He's got a record of not losing. And then I'm coming with Kovacic. You can hate on him that he's slow, but Kovacic has got four UCLs. I'm coming with a four UCL winner. In, and then I'm coming with Bernardo Silva, who's one of the best best players in this league. He's going to be pressing from that right-hand side. And trust me, ask Madrid and ask Bayern fans what Bernardo Silva can do when he's playing RW and when he's on it. And then let's not forget that as much as people laugh at this brother, I still think this brother is playing good football. And the only reason why people are hating on this brother is because City have got a new toy. Let's hate on City's new toy. I think Doku, regardless what people are saying about Doku, somebody just sent me a stat saying, since you like stats, he's one of the most creative players in Europe, mm -hmm. Doku. The same Doku who people say is horrible. I don't think Doku is that horrible. So if I want to come off the bench, I'm bringing Doku. And also we've got another star boy called Oscar Bob. He's very nice. He also come off the bench. And then at the end of the day, look, De Bruyne, I'm just saying De Bruyne, Haaland, Foden, Bernardo Silva, Rodri Kovacic is good enough for me to go against that Arsenal backline and rip you guys into pieces. Because let's not forget, De Bruyne is going to mm. spam those crosses. You know that. They're going to come in and eventually they will land into Haaland's feet and go again. Don't forget, last time Haaland was missing against you guys, all he had to do is just take off his hair clip, put his hair down, scored such an easy goal. So mm. it is what it is. But you know what, Tony? Let's just be gentlemen and say both our teams, both of us are going to come with chess, but may the best man win. Yeah, yeah, I do agree because I do rate Man City. It's not like I don't rate... See, because people are getting it wrong in the chart sometimes. I, I, uh, it's not like I, I don't rate City. I do rate City. In fact, I do recognize that you're a big threat. I, I do recognize that. And you still favorites to win in your home. There's no question about that. But all I'm just saying is that you can't just say it with chess that you don't recognize the threat to which Arsenal is coming with to the, to the 80 hat. You know, the, the, the other Arsenal team that visited you last season was a completely different Arsenal team. Uh, you know, that we didn't have the mentality to come down there with, you know, first of all. We came down there with Rob Holden. Uh, Saliba was already injured at that time, which already broke our season. I nailed the coffin on our season. Uh, Thomas Partey was already injured. We didn't have that uh, go-to leader down there leading the team. The team was in shambles. But this season right now, and I'm seeing... Uh, Arsenal playing in a multi-dimensional way. We have different ammunition in our armory that I, I do believe that we can employ and, and we could actually wield, uh, you know, this armory anyhow we like. In, in that game, if we don't even want to play with such big and huge intensity, we could just do the normal thing and the conservative thing. Same thing we did back at the Emirates. Keep it simple. The chances will come because City are a team that would literally press you. That press will come. And when you're going with that press, Vajol is exposed. At least one of your defenders would definitely want to, you know, join in that press. And I've seen City this season. Your powers of recovery this season isn't really that good. You, even if you get out of shape, when you get out of shape during your press, yeah, during your pressing game, you getting back, you don't get back into shape quite quickly. And I think that's a particular point to which Arsenal is going to exploit in this game because we do have fast midfielders. Uh, Martin Odegaard, that's why he's very key. It's very key in this game. He has to be very fast, quick, and quick thinking. I I'm not looking for a Martin Odegaard who will do a cross pass or a no-look pass. I want that Martin Odegaard who would 
uh, you know, before thinking and who would uh, actually spray those passes and cut uh, and get in behind uh, uh, that uh, uh, Manchester City defence. Because I really do think that your best uh, defenders uh, in that game will be out in John Stones and Kai Walker. That takes away mm. uh, uh, most of the defensive threat and even, in, to some extent, your attacking threat because Kai Walker is that guy that gives you multiple outlets while attacking and also leaves a whole lot to be done uh, defending. And he does it. That's how, that's how he multitask. And that's why he's your best defender to me. And is a more all-rounded defender. Personally, that's what I think. I think it's even better than Akonji more, in more ways than you can actually think. I really, really do respect Kyle Walker. So when I saw he's not going to be in this game, <laughs> this is the chance. See, the stars are aligned. It, it has to be the stars. The, this must. is the chance that I, I'm telling you, Sophia. Jones is not there. Car Worker, who's their leader, is not there. This is what we want. This is the dream that we want. Oh. They are not there. They're not there. And they're having a KDP who I do respect, who I do think that goals will come from him. But I don't think it's 100%. Even Pat here was saying he was training with the under 20. I don't think that guy is 100%. So if he comes to this game, he definitely will meet the roadblock in Declan Rice, who will just see it uh, deep in, you know, in that uh, number six role and just wait for any of those attacks that are coming into play. Uh, that's what I literally think he would do. I don't think he would go box to box. I don't think he would be ill-disciplined to just leave his uh, uh, area and just move into advanced positions just like that. He'll be more conservative uh, uh, to be able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 at least uh, mop up that midfield and, and, and truncate any... Uh, 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 any attacks from that midfield, and you and Patrick, you've also totally forgotten that in recent games that Kevin De Bruyne has played this season, I've seen him give the ball away many times. He's given the ball away. That's part of his of game, though. That's part of his no, game. I, I, no, I, like I, I, I get that. I get that. But again, this Arsenal team isn't a team you want to just give balls away in the middle of the park. When mm -hmm. we press and when we go on counter attacks. Oh, my brother, you, you know what we bring to the table. That's why we scored 33 goals in eight games. I'm not I'm, saying that those teams are Manchester City, I'm just, but I'm, I'm just, just I'm saying just you don't give Arsenal... Got... You don't give Arsenal those chances, those loose balls everywhere. You don't Yeah, but, you, but you're, going, you're, you're, going to the, you're, the, you're going to the current UCL and Premier League champions. I get what you're saying, but you're going there. Why? Yes, Walker and Stones are gone, but you're going there with hungry players that they know even themselves, the same as you. Plus, Pep, that if we lose this, we're out. So you're saying you're going to a, a, a wounded animal's house who's not been doing well. You're saying we're going there, we're going to slash them, we're going to do this. I'm telling you, Arsenal fans, just go back to see your record. This might actually be bad. This might end up bad. But you know what? As I said, maybe they may the best man win. We can continue just talking here back and forth, but you yeah. never know until it's Sunday. So that's where I'll leave it at, yeah. Yeah. To end it off, because this has been big up to both of you guys, a wonderful debate. I've, I've loved it. Love your guys' energy. But of course, I would love to hear if you guys want to share, of course, no pressure, prediction for the game. You bring a chest, let me know. You think you're going to win? If so, what's the score? I'll let Patrick, uh, I'll let Patrick go first. Oh, yeah. this, this is this is going to be uh three one city. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. That Tell that's a lot of chest. But but Patrick, that's a lot it of is. chest, man. Uh, that's a lot of chest. How can you sit here and say you don't have we're, chest? We're at Etihad, Bro, we're that's a lot of chest. We're at the Etihad, but, but say, so. They're at the Etihad. The, the record at the Etihad is really good. Okay. So so I see it. But Tony, okay. <laughs> is your chest there? What do you say? Uh, see, so so were the record. So were the record very good at the Arsenal. I, I can't be seeing. I can't be seeing the boy looking that skinny with Jack Grish that fit looking that skinny with my with my boy oh. my boy dog and after like that and saying that I'm not gonna win. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We are good. We are good. We are definitely good. So I'm good. I'm good. So yeah, three one. Okay. Oh Tell dear. Me. I'll go with a conservative two goes to one. I, I really do think City are gonna score. 
the, they're going to score. You know, they have that threat. I don't think it's necessarily going to be from Elena Haaland because I think it will be in the pockets of, of Saliba, you know, uh, and Gabriel, you know. That, that, I think that goal might come from the midfield, maybe from a folding or KDB, any of those two. But I think Arsenal will get over the line, you know, will recover, uh, you know, and, um, you know, we will outpace them, you know. We'll outpace them. Okay. We're faster. We're quicker. I think we will win that game to go to one. Okay. So both of you guys are back in your team. I respect it. I respect it. I don't know what it is. But I have a feeling. I've been having this feeling the whole week. And this is not what I want to happen. I'm just saying. <laughs> I feel like Arsenal could win. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's just a feeling. Mm. So I'm, there's I, no you know, reason I, to it. I know, the feeling I know, is mutual. The feeling is mutual, Sophia. And you know, you know the first one. Even if you go on Twitter, it looks like all the media, everybody. But all my players, like right now, I've got a, I've got a Miss Melina is commenting behind, underneath uh, Haaland's uh, <laughs> status. He says, "Bring on the weekend." Haaland, when he says "bring on the weekend," he's usually up for it. And then Ford oh, says. Up for it. Ford didn't say the same thing. So my players are ready. Look, my players are ready. I know John Stones uh, triggered most Arsenal fans when he said he didn't know he was playing Arsenal. But okay. it is what it is. Champs are champs, you know. But look, as I said, we can all come here, just make, uh, oh, we'll do this, we'll do that. But I just think Sunday will shock a lot of people. And especially when Man City is wounded like this, that's when they're more dangerous. Then we'll see anyway. So I'm just, uh, and Arsenal fans, um, regardless, even if we win, lose, or draw, I'll be out there. I make sure you guys are out there. Because last time, Arsenal fans, when you held four at the, at the Etihad, you went missing. I I looked for all of you. You said you're going to dinner with family. Some of you said, oh, some family emergency. So this time, don't go come hiding, through. people. Come through. Don't go hiding. Come through. Show up. <laughs> yes, it's yes. Will be at, I mean, for the neutral, I'm definitely excited for the game. I think it's going to be a good game. It's like what Patrick said. It probably won't be like a high-scoring game, but I think it's going to be intense. It's still, you know, everybody's going to be up mm. for it. I generally believe that. So I'm definitely very excited. And thanks to both of you guys for, you know, taking the time of your day to show up and, and do the stream. I had a blast. So big up. Um of course, we have, like I said, reminding you people, we are live on all of the guys' platforms. So make sure <coughs> whatever platform you're watching on, like, like on all of them. Okay. Subscribe on everybody's platform. Show some love. Okay. We got Tony Cod, Gunner TV. We got Patrick from True City Fan Channel. Show everybody some love. Um, do you guys got some content coming up? We can start with Patrick. No, really. To be honest with you, I, I I did a I did a preview with Thursday, but I, overall I have nothing coming up. I'm just going to be on different shows today because it's a very very busy busy day. But look, uh, thank you very much, Sophia. As always, when you bring me to your channel, I actually enjoy it. And uh, Tony, I'm pretty sure this is not the last we see of each other. So big up. Oh, oh, my brother, definitely, man, definitely will. Definitely will catch up, Patrick, man. I would send you a message after after this. If you're on Instagram, please, uh, uh, my name is Tony Clark on a TV on Instagram. Just send me a message. No, I'm on Twitter. I, don't, I, I can't operate it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how, uh, I don't know how to you operate know, you uh, can... Instagram. Send so me on Twitter. Twitter. I'm, I, I don't know what Instagram is for. Let me just, I, I might seem like, I don't know. I, I just don't see the use. Just posting pictures. So I'm on more, more on Twitter. Sophia knows me on Twitter. So you, if you're on Twitter, find me on Twitter. Or Sophia yeah, will drop yeah. you my digits so that you can find yeah, me on WhatsApp. I'll do it. No yeah. worries. Yep. I can do it. Okay. Then, okay. 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 Good. Then I'll find you on, on Twitter. So I'll send you a message on Twitter because it would be nice to have a couple of shows with you, man. As you can see, we can create magic. So, sure. Definitely. Yeah. Big up. Big up. Big up. Tony, do you got anything up uh, coming up? On your socials yeah um see ya um sophia thanks again you know it's always a pleasure coming down to your channel and um you know having a chat down here and um to some to some i don't know i, I like this city guy yeah i like this patrick guy i've never sat down with him although i've seen him do shows before but you know this is my first time having shows with him and you know brother man uh, respect to you man respect to you all the way and um, you know, you. I like what we've yeah, sure, man. I like what we've done today, and um, you know, let's see, let's go into Sunday and and may the best man win. 
you know, I'm yeah, not saying yeah. Arsenal is the best in the world, but I'm just saying that Arsenal is a big threat going into this matchup. You know, I, I'm tired of seeing people just put Arsenal, you know, down and, and trample on us as if, uh, you know, we're not a threat uh, right now mm -hmm. with the way we're playing. You know, so let's see. We'll come down there on Sunday. Let's see what we can do. I'll be having um, uh, I'll be having a show with Shit TV tomorrow. Manchester United fan, a friend of mine. Uh -huh. I'll be having a show with him tomorrow. I'll also be having a watch along with Steve Mahala. Uh, 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 you know, on his channel, I'll be doing a watch along uh, with the Newcastle Newcastle match tomorrow. I'll be having a show with um, Wolfang Division, a friend of mine too. Uh, Chelsea versus Burnley, watch along. Then um, on Sunday, I'll be with my very, very, very great friend and sister, uh, Miss Melina, uh, on my channel. It's going to be the, you know, the big one. Manchester City versus Arsenal. Uh, we go to yeah. the Etihad to to take our taxes and take what we deserve this season and likely go and win that title because that's what we have to do if we want to win that title. Uh, Miss Melina will be down there with me. Lion Tech TV might be there with me in the reaction match where I'll be doing, uh, 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 in the reaction show I'll be doing after that uh, matchup. Yeah. So it's going to be big. It's going to be big. Next week, I'm bringing in Flawless. I'm a member of Suckers in TV. I'll be bringing in Flawless uh, to my channel to come and answer questions, mostly after I beat Manchester City. You know, uh, the the only big game I would be left to face would be that crunch game at Old Trafford. He will have to come and answer some questions next huh? week. If I don't beat City, that that, that show will be cancelled and I'll just humble myself. <laughs> shout, out to, <laughs> shout out to Arsenal above all. Uh, you know, my guy, that's one of my oldest friends in this YouTube mm. thing. So big up to you, Arsenal above all, man. Hope you're okay. Uh, and you know, just join me on 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 this uh, on these shows. Arsenal history and more. Another great guy who is in the charts. Uh, uh, you know, is an Arsenal veteran. Great guy. Does lovely shows. You know uh, about Arsenal. Uh, this guy. I've see. I don't know anyone who understands more about Arsenal than Jez. This guy. Arsenal history and more. Please subscribe to that guy's channel. Arsenal is all over his head. You know, he's an he's an advanced guy, but. He really understands and knows more about Arsenal. And um, Wolfgang Division is also down here with us. Big up to you. And Ravi, great guy, all true, man. Big up to you, man. Thanks. Big up, big up. Yes, big up, everybody. We're going to end it here. I'll be back tomorrow straight after the match. Jesus, it's a late night kickoff. I'm not looking forward to that. But, uh, you know, do check out the match preview that I did earlier today talking about that game as we will be playing Brentford away and we will be right there after the game please united just give me the three points let the season end okay but yeah big up to both of my guests we'll be uh see you guys another time have a great time everybody peace out we're out bye-bye